I need to do is to find where I want to put the tree. I have plenty of land to do that. But even then, I want to make sure that if there's any problems, it's not going to fall on anything like the pole barn that is stuffed with stuff that needs to be cleaned. Um, I don't want it to block a view. So I was thinking in that area. So I'm going to go up and over there with these little bunny rabbit. And we're going to go running over. So I don't have anybody else. Oh, okay, feeling sorry for myself. Um, I'll see you in a minute. Because I have to trudge. You know what? Trudge with me. It's a lot of grass. See this? The tractor died. The lawnmower died. And uh, nothing like a push lawnmower with dull blades. Wow. These are pretty red stems. Oh, that's from this tree right here. And this is actually a maple. Um, it's gorgeous. It's really tall now. Um, it's only a couple years. Well, it's been a, two years since I put it here. But um, it grew from seed way over there beyond the shed. I found a big bunch of them growing. So I pulled them apart and I put this guy here. And uh, I put... 15 of them on the other side of that pond there. Um, oddly, only five, I think, grew on the other side. But this guy loves it here. It's just, it's, it's in an area where there's water, but his roots will get wet coming this way, but they stay dry up that way, so he's sort of dry and wet. And anyway, here we go through the grass and the, oh, here it is. These are the pods from milkweeds. Yeah, oops. I see that just blow all over the place and they take root. And it's interesting is when they do take root, like they did this year, they do it in a bunch. They find a bunch. They were over there. But, uh, okay, keep walking. What I don't like are these. Because they're, you know, no, wrong ones. It's these because they're stickers. This is the ones. Uh, hope I'm not too close because I can't seem to see anything. Um, yeah, stickers on them and uh, they stick to you and that's how they actually transfer a lot of the seeds. Get some really nice pretty grass though in the fall just because it's, uh, well I like the arrangement of wildflowers. As you can see over there, there's a lot of uh, milkweed pods there. You can use them um, in different crafts. You can put them into a, a vase and stuff. You can even paint them and you know, make a, um, a little house for magical fairies or different things because of the pods. Here's some more here. They look rather odd, but yeah, these pods are so great that if you take them apart, they can, uh, you can take out the inside See thing, okay. and make things out of it, make little boats, anything. I mean, they're really great for crafters. Anyway, I put the bucket that I was going to use around here somewhere. Get lost in the same oh, I do. Oh, sorry. Okay. There it is. Oh, I decided this spot right here, which is stones throw away from that pear tree, but even with the tree getting bigger, it's going to bother those. It'll probably block it a lot from the wind. Um, and it's here. It's quite a long way away from the farm. So, um, and it's right near the pond, but it's still enough distance that won't bother that. Um, I think it's River Birch. see this. There's a bee hanging around here. Where is he? It's probably going to come on me. It's just 
way the lava goes. But anyway, this was filled with water. I think I have some old pictures and the roots are in there. You can see this. Really, I forgot all about it. I had it off in the corner under the deck and it was just sitting there. And every once in a while during the summer I kept refilling the water up so it wouldn't rot. Sometimes you could put that in water, put a stick in water that's green, it starts to root, and then it, it mushes up. So, but I, that's why I was always changing the water. I even put some fertilizer in it. And uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put it here. I'm going to start digging it in over here. Um, I have this guy here. This friend here, he's going to watch. Yes, I'm totally crazy. And first thing you have to do though is uh, the first. <laughs> Maybe go in the house and get somebody else to take this. I'll be right back. You can see. Um, this little crack is very deep. It only looks about six, eight inches deep. And um, because of this, as you can see, do you want to go right up to it here? So, oops. Let's see. Okay. It's going to go in the hole like that. This. And I'll try to straighten it up because uh, I want this tree to stand straight. I don't want it to fall over. And, um, you know, start growing off to the sides or anything else. I saw a tree in town. I should take a picture of that one, um, which I will. And it, uh, it looks like it was growing with a string tied to the top of it, and it was bowed over. So this one, I want to try to keep it standing straight. i got to fill it in. dirt with the, um, the grass and just turn it upside down. It's a little extra mulch inside. But I'm going to fill it all in. Okay, once the hole is almost filled in, I need to see here. It's hard to see. Um, I'm going to take the last of the water. Oops. This water here. And i uh, flow even though I can see that the ground underneath is uh, pretty wet. I also don't need to be dragging this around. So I'm going to let that soak in. Okay, once you actually um, planted the root, the, um, the stick with the roots on it, right? Well, this is a corcus root uh, willow. Uh, I filled it in with dirt well, almost all the way. Then I dumped the water from the bucket into it. And then, because I wanted to make sure I dug another little hole and put that extra dirt around it. And then you can push around it. you got to be very careful because you don't want to uh, damage the roots. You don't want to squish anybody, um, push it tight. You just gently tap it around and stuff. Some people try to t jump up and down on it. I've seen that. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's not going to make it any tighter. Um, nothing. It's pretty straight. As far as that's going to be straight because it's, um, Nice and I love the shape of this tree. Anyway, I'm going to have to come back in spring and see what happens. I may end up just leaving this out here. I just don't want it to... I don't think it'll blow around. Hmm. I might do that just to remind me where it's at.
And I opted out of leaving the Tidycat yellow bucket here because I couldn't see it below this, you know, the grass. And then, so I went to the barn and I found an old stick that I had um, sectioned off an area. So I kept the, the wrapping on it and it's perfect. So I could find it again in spring. And hopefully, this little guy grows.